Hello. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Conspirators of Pleasure. This movie is just a lot of fun. I can't recommend it enough. It's just a very fun movie to watch. And basically what this movie is about, and it's directed by Jan Schwenkmeijer. And he has directed a number of other weird movies, such as Little Otis, uh, his version of Alice in Wonderland, and a numerous uh, volume of shorts, of short films. And uh, he's known a lot for his animation, his stop motion animation, but it seems that with every major motion picture he does, he uses less and less of it and relies more on live action, which isn't a bad thing or anything, it's just something. And he's a, he's a great animator. I should say that off the bat. He's a really a great stop motion animator. And you can definitely see that displayed in a lot of his short films, such as Dimensions of Dialogue, which is one of my favorites and one of his best. And yeah, so Conspirators of Pleasure. I showed this at a weird movie night I had with my friends, and they all really loved it. It's just a very fun movie. It's um, basically what it's about. It's about a group of people who are seeking their own individual pleasures. And pretty much, they're, I think they're called conspirators of pleasure because I think they all know about each other's secret fetishes. And um, these fetishes, what they do to live out these fantasies, it's all very elaborate. And for much of the movie, you're watching them planning and uh, preparing for their moment of bliss and um, you're trying to figure out what they're doing and what they're uh, trying to achieve and it's all very long-winded trying to get to this point and I think that's the whole fun of it you're trying to figure out what they're doing and then when you finally realize what they're when you see what they're doing it's all incredibly bizarre what these things that uh, supposedly turn these people on are and some of them range from relatively normal to just crazy elaborate. And I think the most memorable one is the crazy elaborate one involving um, the very first man we see. He walks into a shop and he buys porn. It seems normal enough, but he's actually using that porn to make porn to make a paper mache chicken head mask. And the whole movie, everyone's wondering what the hell is he doing with this chicken head mask that could that you can find pleasure? The movie ends quite uh, bizarrely too, in that the fantasies almost seem to be coming to life, and the conspirators seem to be trading off their fetishes. It seems that they have all pretty much planned this, and they they each have this role at the end after their respective. Uh, Climaxes, I guess I can say, at the end where they kind of set up preparation for the next person to engage. And it seems like it's possible that they're actually uh, trading these uh, fantasies and that each character is actually going to live out the fantasy of the other character, another character who we just saw, which is quite odd. And... At the end, it's the very end. the fantasies actually start to mingle with reality until you don't know what is reality and what is fantasy. And uh, this is actually enhanced a little bit earlier in the film with the use of stop motion. I guess if you can say that there's a point to this film, um, it would be that people go through all this work trying to gain happiness, this pleasure, and um, it's never enough. They it's very elaborate, they can't just have one thing, they need to plan and make sure that's very specifically done in this certain way. And, but really there doesn't need to be a point to this film. It's just really fun to watch, very bizarre. And uh, yeah, it's great to watch with some friends if you have any weird friends. And yeah, I, this is a very short review. There's not much else to say about it except just watch it. I don't wanna go into the plot because I think you should just watch it for yourself if you haven't already.
because it's just very fun to watch and try to figure out what these people are trying to do. And that's all I have for today. So yeah, conspirators a pleasure.